My father spent the last year and a half of his life in a nursing home. And it wasn't a quality place. And I hated having him be there because the care wasn't there. It didn't smell good. And I just thought we needed to do something better if we could in the community sometime if the case never arose. The church I belonged to owned this piece of land. And then when the board meeting, someone said, what should we do with that land? And I said, I'd like to make a proposal. I didn't think about it before that, but since it was brought up, I told them that I think our town needed a quality retirement center where people can be taken care of with care and concerns and Christian values. Orchards came together and we travel all over the country looking at different facilities and we came with ideas that we liked and didn't like and we brought it to the board and four years later we were open with Oak Grove. When we didn't have the memory care unit built yet, we had a resident that had come for short-term rehab. He had some advanced dementia. Without having the memory care unit, it was unsafe for us to keep him here. Ultimately, he went to another facility. He had passed. His wife had returned to Oak Grove herself when it became time for her. That particular resident still weighs on our heart. And to turn her and her husband away because we didn't have that unit was it's hard. And it's a very hard decision because it's not that we want to make those decisions. Ultimately, we have to make hard decisions, especially when it comes to their safety. So it, it was a while, it was about six months in, and she was here. The building is going up. Our Alzheimer's unit is being built. She can see it through her window. And she made a comment about how she was so thankful that Oak Grove's finally building this Alzheimer's unit. And I told her, I was like, you know, I'm so sorry. And I'm very thankful too. And she was like, oh, honey, don't carry that. I understand with donations to our Benevolence Fund, that allows us the security and the stability that Oak Grove needs to continue to be an important piece in the community. Some of the original donors of this building in 99, as they got older, they came in here and they had to leave because they got dementia. So as a board member, I said, we have to change this. We have to provide for all the people's needs, not just when they're at this stage in life. If they get dementia, we have to be able to keep them here. That's why we wanted to start a benevolent fund. We would like it if the churches would consider an offering to support Oak Grove Benevolent Fund, because there are people who have difficulties, and Oak Grove currently helps those people, but we want to do more. I would hope that the community would feel the same way. I personally would like the community to feel more a part of Oak Grove. If there's any questions or they want to see anything, they're always welcome to come here. If they want to take a tour of it, Rosemary would be glad to give them a tour. And I would just like it if the community felt that they could be more involved with Oak Grove in whatever possible way they can. The Resident Benevolence Fund is a fund that was created to help residents that run out of money. Everyone plans ahead and tries to plan on their future and taking care of themselves in the later stages of their lives, but we're living longer and longer. And so inevitably, some people run out of money and can't pay the rent. The Benevolence Fund gives us a way to help them bridge between applying for state assistance, Medicaid, and that time span so they feel comfortable through that process until they can get the assistance they need from state. And I think that shows that Oak Grove is here and wants to give back and is part of the community.